liked him. You got any sound bites for me? What? Mm. So sound bites. Sound bites. Sound bite. Something snappy to say about Oozle's nest. Nothing that comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Adam do one of these. Yeah, Adam, yeah, did the um, corner crack. Quite a long layback until you get a good jug, but the long layback is not the crux, crux move. The crux is getting from the big jug and getting stood up on the jug, really. It's just a little bit of an awkward move, but you got bomber nuts just where you need them. Well, so, um, the start is actually quite delicate, really, to be honest. Uh, and then, yeah, you've got like a, a good bit of layback in. And, and then you stood up on big ledges and you're on big holds to the top then and it's just, you know, going in between them all getting your feet up and there's plenty of gear bomber nuts, cans, whatever you want you could even pop around with hexes if you wanted to do that it's just, you know, there's just loads of it the, the finishing moves are, are really, really good you know, it's just massive jugs, well spaced but really juggy nice technical problem for, for a 5A for a lower grade route Probably yeah, you, I suppose you can climb, if you can climb lace, you should be able to climb any HVS. You know, it's just going to stay there forever, it's not going to fall down by the look. That's <laughs> a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what about Allison's route? Uh, I think, yeah, I think that's another classic line. It's good. It's your first descent, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Lots of variations to other problem starts, but yeah, getting off the floor is the crux, but then you've still got... Um, Still got a 5C move and probably a 5B move at the top as well. Again, that, you know, it's still a pretty sustained route. Mm. Um, yeah, alright, yeah. Mr. Man, downgrade it to E3, but, you know, if Mr. Toon can say it's E4, E4 of 6A is what I gave it. Uh, mainly because it was sustained, really. I wasn't really thinking of protection that it has, you know, because if you can get a runner in the top, it was, it was quite difficult to place, but. Did you not have a runner then? Uh, I did, yeah, I put in a, quite a large cam. I mean, Dave Mann put in a small cam, and Dave Toon didn't even bother. He faffed around with loads of gear, couldn't get anything and carried on. Um, Adam got a small cam in, and that's the only people I've seen repeat it. Uh, and I put a peg in on, on the hope that it might get another re repeat and start to trap people here, because it is such a good line. <laughs> Yeah, there are a lot of boulders on the start here, aren't there? Yeah. Which, which is the Oozle style, you've got to climb hard for about four metres. It does, yeah, yeah. Get some gear. Yeah, yeah. A pad is nice, but if you haven't got it, you've just got to, uh, you've got to run it out before you get your first one. Yep. You've got to be pretty strong and pretty confident you're climbing at, at, at that grade, but at the end of the day, if you can climb an E2 at Oozles, you should be able to climb an E2 anywhere. There you go, that's the sound bite. Right. <laughs> Brick Shaped Dreams. I called it that because I pulled out a brick shaped block when I was cleaning it. And I woke up in bed and thought, oh yeah, I should get a cam in there. Um, so I thought I'd try and lead it because I wouldn't have given it a go if I couldn't get the gear in. A 10 year itch. Yeah, it's really good boulder problem at the start, up to about sort of five metres, just kind of tic-tacking up little thin side pulls, very slightly overhanging and it's like maybe maybe it's 7A plus 7B boulder problem, something like that and then you get to this little sort of ledge that you can have a bit of a rest on, get get some gear in could come in the in the crack to the right and then there's another tricky move to get stood up on on the ledge that you had your hands on I kept falling off that on lead because I hadn't really practiced it. I'm sure it's actually not that bad, but yeah. yeah anyway, it was a bit of a mission. Ah, come on! Like a, come on! Get, come on! And then after that, you get a bomber knot in, 
anger away. Easy stuff. You can't see it from the ground, but there's loads of holes up there. It's just quite fun climbing up to the top. Yeah, it's good fun. The 10 year itch. Why'd I call it that? It's the first trad climb I've done in about 10 years. Oozle's nest is that good that it makes a boulder I want to climb trad. <laughs> Well done, mate. It's faith and energy. Uh, originally given E4 6 there. However, after a few people have tried the start, it's clearly harder than, than that. It doesn't read easily. It'd be a hard on site. It's very barn dory at the start, very unusual moves. Uh, then a bit of a dino lunge to a small crimp, which probably is the true crux. Um, you've just got to get conditions right. Um, and then another awkward move after it, but I don't know you're a good way above ground. Uh, and then eventually you get to a good jug and have a shake out. It's not as good as you perhaps think it is, but it, you can have a shake out on it. And the tops were from below, it looks like it might ease and the holes get bigger. Whereas really, when you get up there, you, you are taken by surprise. It, you know, it still keeps coming at you. Um, yeah, small holes at the top. So it's quite sustained from the beginning, from the start to the end, really. You've just got two old pegs for gear, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, two rusty the pegs. 1980, so they're about uh, they're over, like over that, 30 yeah. years old. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is in the back of your mind of how old them pegs are. Definitely. Because <laughs> they're quite thin. Is it, is it the hardest thing you've done, you think? Uh, yeah, I've done a few E5s. And this one, I had to dig a bit deeper to, to get it. I had to work it a little bit. Got no stars in the guidebook, but to me, it's... It's a fantastic, well, what I would say is like a bit of a futuristic line, really, for its grade. You know, it should be on everyone's tit list, anyone that's climbing in Lancashire. One of the few quarries in Lancashire that has some of the hardest climbs in such a small area. Is it Central Buttress in Wilton 1? It's like three or four of them together. All right, it's not as high, but it offers lots of hard climbing, lots of hard bouldering. It's got everything you want here. Absolutely everything. And you can come on a rainy day. Yes! Well done. Yeah. It doesn't do voices, does it, this Robin? Sorry? It do, it's not doing voices, is it? Uh, yeah. Oh, good deal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, here we are at, um, at uh, what's it called, this place, yeah? Oozle's Nest and uh, Robin's trying a new route and Dave's watching over him and uh, Dog's eating a, a tree Jeff's on a route and Max is belaying him We we'll call him Max today, not Alex he prefers that <laughs> And Robin's just psyching up now and is aware. And he lays just quick psych and here he goes. New route. New route. Joe Brown and Don Willans reckoned it was impossible, but uh, Robin's given a good go here. We'll find out the grade in a minute. Looks pretty powerful. It's looking good. Looking very good. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a dodgy move here. Dodgy, dodgy move. But he's done it. 
He's getting it. Yeah. No, no runners up to now. But there, that's a runner now. Yeah, it's got the runner in. I yeah, don't know where the bloody hell is going now. We just have to watch. Just chalking up, having a bit of a rest. Although it looks strenuous rest. Looks quite strenuous. Oh, up he goes, up he goes. Yep. Oh, looks very powerful. Is he going to get it in the bag? I think maybe if he gets this runner in, it's cracked up. He's got it in. So now a couple of hard moves to the top. Yep. Yep, up he goes. Yep. Oh, yep. Very comfortable. Finishing move now. And he's there. Yep, that's it done. New route in the bag. Yeah, good effort, Robin. Good effort. Once you get that jug, is it? Is that it, basically? Once you get stood up on it, yeah. The danger of it is that anything could come off on you, and that bottom peg feels like that's not going to do anything. Yeah, I'm sure it will, but there's, it's got to be E3. After the first peg, it's a bit difficult to reverse, I think. After the first peg? Yeah, once you get going on it. Not the other lot, yeah. 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 The scariest lead I've done in a while. Cool, Dave. Mantle. That's it, that's the way. <sighs> Come on. Well done, fantastic. Well done, mate. Yeah, well done, pal. Yeah. Lots of dead voles. Lots of dead animals here. <laughs> the vole holes provide good handles for topping out. Yeah, sorry, it was Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith. Um, we don't know much about the guy. Yeah, but if you're there at the Wilton Fest, Andy, put your hand up. <laughs> <laughs> Make yourself known. How would you rate it compared to the other quarries? In Lancashire? Yeah. Top five. No doubt about it. <laughs> So get your asses down here and start cleaning the rest of these roots and start <laughs> climbing them. Stop messing.